Today I'm bringing you a review of Bell Tress's Dalgona 16 and Root Beer Float Blonde. Dalgona 16 is part of Bell Tress's Cafe Collection and features a heat-friendly, heat-defiant synthetic fiber, which I'll discuss a little bit later. I purchased Dalgona with my own funds from Wig Studio One. Bell Tress is 30% off every day at Wig Studio One. In this review, I'm gonna discuss this style. I will also discuss this color, Root Beer Float Blonde. Also, I videoed myself unboxing the wig and putting the wig on right out of the box, so I'll include that as well. Dalgona 16 is a mid-length, shattered, wavy style with a lot of layers. It has modern, edgy, and textured waves. These waves are very common among Beltre styles. Most of the Dalgonas that I've seen on other people had a nice contour right here. Mine isn't quite as contoured as theirs, but there is definitely some built-in contour that was like that when it came straight out of the box. Let's talk about these fibers. These are Bell Tress's heat-friendly fibers up to 350 degrees, which means that you can use heat up to 350 degrees to style them if you would like to, maybe to straighten them or to change the curl pattern if you would like. Bell Tress does an amazing job with their fibers. They are so soft and they have a very fine denier so they look like real hair and they move like real human hair. Also, because it is a heat friendly synthetic, you don't get that shine that you do on a regular synthetic, which makes it look more natural. I am not sensing any permatees in this wig at all, um, but it still, as you can see, has plenty of volume. These fibers, you can just kind of fluff them up and it gives you plenty of volume. And for me, if this is a lower density wig, which I prefer because I don't have a lot of bio hair. So I wouldn't be as comfortable with a lot of volume and a lot of hair and a lot of permatees. I prefer a lower density wig, which this is. It does weigh 5.1 ounces, but because it fits me so well, I, it doesn't feel like it weighs that much. It is. It feels very lightweight and it's very comfortable. I have a 22 inch circumference and it fits me perfectly. Let's talk about the dimensions of this wig. As I mentioned, it's a layered style. So the sides here, the length is 10 to 14 inches. So the shortest layer is 10 inches and the longer layer hits at 14 inches. The back is 16 inches. The nape is eight and a half inches. And overall it's 10 to 16 inches. All right, let's talk about this color. So this is Root Beer Float Blonde. The color code for Root Beer Float Blonde is 16881038. So, what that means is that we have a root of eight, which is a medium brown root. So, this is a rooted shade. The 16 is the base, and that is a dark ash blonde or a light ash brown. And that is the base color. And then on top of that base, we have an 88, which is a light neutral wheat color. And then we have 103, which are neutral platinum highlights. I would say that this color is leaning more cool in tone. Now, as I mentioned, this is a rooted color, but they do a really, really nice job transitioning from that root down into the blonde. It's not just a line, it is, blended really, really well from the root to the blonde color. It's a really beautiful dimensional blonde. I would say that Butterbeer Blonde is my personal favorite blonde in the Beltress collection. So I thought I would compare this Root Beer Float Blonde to a Butterbeer Blonde. This is the Calithia and Butterbeer Blonde. And I thought I would just compare it to the Root Beer Float Blonde. They both have a medium brown root and they are both very, very dimensional light blondes. It may not come across this way, but in person, the Root Beer Float Blonde is a little bit cooler, whereas the Butter Beer Blonde is leaning more neutral. I'm gonna turn so you can see the colors from all angles.
I think the Root Beer Float Blonde is a little bit more dimensional than the Butterbeer Blonde, but the Butterbeer Blonde is still my favorite. I just love this color. I think it is so flattering on so many skin tones. Okay, let me show you this lace front. It is very typical lace front, temple to temple lace front for Belle Tress. It does not extend into the ear tab, so you do get a seam here where the lace front ends. So you just wanna make sure that you keep that covered with some of these hairs here. You can definitely style this away, but you wanna make sure you bring some of this front section down to cover that up. And then here are the ear tabs. And it we do have hair spliced into the ear tabs, which gives really good coverage. And there's a lighter color spliced right here into the front of the lace, which is really nice. It helps to obscure those knots and make it look much more natural. It's a really, really pretty lace front. I just wish it did run a little bit further into the ear tabs. I filmed myself unboxing Dalgona 16 and putting it on right out of the box before doing anything to it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. Okay, this is Beltress's signature box. You can see mine got banged up a little bit in shipment and I showed you the tag, and I'm just opening the tissue, and you can see it is wrapped and secured really well. It's got tissue inside of it, and then it has mesh around it to keep it all in place and keep it secure during shipment. I'm just removing that mesh and the tissue from inside the wig, and we will take a look at the tag again. So this is Dalgona 16 and Root Beer Float Blonde. Looks really good. Look at those waves for really, really pretty. Nice lace front. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap. This is a lace front with a left monofilament part, very typical for Beltress. I'm showing you that the lace front does not extend into those ear tabs. These are velvet covered ear tabs and there is hair spliced into them, which gives good coverage. We have an extended nape that is velvet covered and there are bra strap like adjusters. This is an open wefted cap and it has a nice amount of stretch in it. And there is the weave part. Don't break that up unless you know you want to keep the wig. And this does have some beautiful beachy shattered waves. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on and so you can see what it looks like right out of the box so you know what to expect. Okay, I've got it on, just making a few adjustments, getting in the right place. And as you can see, it looks fantastic right out of the box. Really don't have to do a whole lot. I will make my normal adjustments. I'll shake it out and rake my fingers through it, but it looks really pretty right out of the box. I'll let you see it from all sides. And then I will take it off and go ahead and shake it out and comb it out with my fingers. And this just helps to free those fibers from the cap and loosen them up and to really wake up the fibers. Okay, just putting that back on and I'll spend some time kind of getting it positioned correctly and working with those fibers. This is where you'll want to break up that weave part if you do decide to keep the wig and just find the exact parting that you want. Um, I didn't really do that on here, but you would want to make sure you take a wide tooth comb and break up that part. As you can see, I really didn't have to do much to this Dalgona 16. It looked great right out of the box. Well, that is Beltress's Dalgona 16. I really like this wig. It's very comfortable. It stays out of the face, which I think makes it a very good everyday wig. I really like this color Root Beer Float Blonde. It's very flattering and beautiful and dimensional. I hope this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.